Hey, this is Dan from Real Mac Software, and this week we're going to take a look at the grid system in Rapid Weaver Elements. Now, I know I've looked at this in previous videos, but we haven't really done a deep dive on it, and we've added some more features, and it's a little bit more complete. There's still some work to do and some rough edges, but you can create some really great layouts with this, and it's really powerful. So you can see here, this is a page I created yesterday. Now, this is in edit mode, so this is not in preview, this is not exported, rendered, whatever, this is in edit mode and it looks exactly the same in preview. So you can see here this, uh, these boxes laid out all differently and this is quite complex to create. If you were creating this in CSS by hand it is very complex and even in other tools, some tools can't create uh, boxes like this, like this kind of layout especially not in edit mode. It's very hard. You have to chop and change to read edit and preview to kind of see what you're doing. But with Elements, you can just build it visually. And that is the real power of Elements here. So we're going to rebuild this page. Probably won't build it, rebuild it exactly because we'll just go along and, you know, as I demo it and build things, we'll see how it turns out. But this is the kind of gist of what we'll build and you can see how easy this is to put together. So I'm going to create a new page here and let's call this one new grid and I'm going to go over to my elements and I'm going to pick a container because we want to put a wrapper around this so we pull the grid away from the edges of the page and then I'm going to drop in my grid system now the grid automatically drops in with uh, four boxes now the grid system is based on a 12 column layout so if I just hop over here to the page layout I can see I've got my container and my grid and then I've got my four grid items and these grid items are currently set to take up three columns and what I can do is I can I can change and arrange these and shift how many columns they take up so this one here we've got this one and if I move this I can say I want that to take up six columns and you'll notice this pushed the other ones along and I can select this grid item and then on here we can say I want that one to take up six or maybe we want that one to take up four and I can select this one and we can move it along to eight. So you can see eight and four and that makes 12. So we're taking up those 12 columns and it's pushed these other two down to the next row and this is taking up uh, three and three. So, you know, we could easily just adjust these. Oh, 10, we'll put that to nine. So you can see we're starting to build up this layout here just by shifting these, uh, shift, shifting these columns. And of course we can add as many, uh, as many of these as we want. We just do it like that. But let's get rid of some of these for the moment because we don't need those, remove selected items. We'll just work on these two at the moment. And then we can always duplicate them and, and, and we'll build it out. So let's get some content in here. So I'm going to add a section and we kind of use the section element here to it's very flexible to give a background to things. If you've got sections of content, it's a great little wrapper. So uh, let's drop both of those in there. So now I've got so I've got two sections in my I've dropped those into the grid so you can see that uh, this one here. I think we had an image on that first one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this, I've got some images I've already dropped into elements here. So I'm gonna take this image and we'll drop that as the background. And this one, um, we can do this one as a grad, because uh, I've got these, I've got these colors set up here already and we can change the direction. Let's see there, let's do something like that. Yeah, that's quite nice. So we've got a little purple grad there. And what else do we need? Let's get some text in here. Uh, let's drop a heading. So we're going to drop a heading in there. And uh, let's make that. See, so let's go and pick one of these. This, we're, we're still updating this. The, the color picker here is, is definitely not finished. And we're going to change the way that works to, to be a little bit quicker. Um, but we'll, we'll show that off in... in in the coming videos anyway let's uh, get back to this so um let's make this is a heading so i'm going to switch i'm going to switch this to the heading font and i've already set up a style here called big bold so that's quite nice um this is my this is my grid 
So that's nice. Um, and then in here we could drop an image. So uh, let's find our image and we'll drop that one in there. So that's popped an image in and we want uh, something nicer there. Let's drop the cloud in to, the, in to replace that. Now, one thing you'll notice here is that this is taking up more room than this. So what you probably want is we, we want these to be equal height. So what we can do is I can select the grid item and I can say stretch that to fill to fill the gap. So there, so now they're, so now they're nice and um, equal. We've also got this large gap down here, which uh, is a bit too big for my liking. So what we can do is, this is the new tool to, um, to manage your padding and margins and things. So here, this tool is managing the gap. And what we can do is we probably want the extra small gap. Now these are all classes that are set up in the theme manager that we've talked about before, uh, so we can define these things in here, but we're not going to go into that today. On this tool, we've also got, we can do this manually. So there, there's zero spacing on there now, and I can just up this and, ah, we didn't see that because that's obviously the, the top and bottom borders there. But if I do this, you can see that just adjusts in real time. But let's switch this back to use the theme and the extra small grid. So any items we add are now going to, um, they will now use this grid system because this is our uh, on the container. So let's go ahead and create a few more. Now what I could do is, what I could do, I could just duplicate this and you can see that's put it at the top. So let's move that down there. And then that's my new one and we'll remove that because we don't, we don't want another one of those. And let's change the color of this one. We're gonna, let's change it to this and we're just going to go to orange and I'll pick a mid orange there we'll have that solid and I think this one had the keyboard in it so let's let's drop an image and let's drop that keyboard in there let's select this text we'll do that keyboard and we want that centered Yep, that's good. Now, I think this grid was, uh, we had this one was thinner here, so we'll knock that down to four. Now oh, there's a bit of a bit of an issue there. Um, let's just, I can right click on here and let's just switch to the other grid item. And the new grid, I don't know. So that's, let's just, oh, so that's a bit of a bug there. Um, which we can obviously fix. There we are. That, oh. For some reason, it's leaving in the selection there. And let's get rid of that one. Right, okay. Uh, this is in development software, so these things happen. So there we are, right. So we've got that one. And what I was gonna do, let's have a look at our grid example. So we're not, we're, we're kind of following this. We're not too far off of this. So let's, uh, let's go back here and let's duplicate this grid item. And this one, we want that to take up eight. And I don't want that image. So let's get rid of that. And we probably, well, let's do, uh, let's, we can leave that as, a, as that. And let's drop in some text. And I've got some text here that we can paste into there. And then we need to give that a color. We'll make that white. And we can knock the opacity back a little bit. And here we could change the size of the text. Maybe we want this one to be smaller. And we'll center that text as well. And now this color, let's go, oh, let's go for a light color there but we might want to make the text darker um, and we'll use and we'll use this orange color again uh, maybe maybe like that and we can knock that back okay this is looking this is looking pretty good now uh, let's 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 just nip back to the grid example 
Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. So we've got these two here that we can um, that we can make. So if I go back there, we need uh, let's let's duplicate those. Oops. That has forgotten its setting there. Let's let's duplicate uh, this grid item, and we want one more of those. Or actually, let's make this let's make that grid item a bit smaller before we duplicate it. And we're going to get rid of that. So let's duplicate that one. Oh, I've duplicated the section. We don't want the section. We want to duplicate the grid item. So now there's another one. Now these grid items are just taking up four, uh, four columns. And this one's taking up eight. Now we haven't really talked about rows. So what I want to do is we want to select this one and I want to push this down so it's taking up two rows. And when I do that, these two should move over this side. So now if I go to my rows and I tell this one to take up two, there you go. You can see that stretch. And I think on the actual design, it's taking up three. So we'll push it to three and we'll add another box. Oops, we'll add another box. And this one here, Yep, and uh, let's get, uh, we haven't got a section in there. So what I'll do is I'll duplicate the section and we'll drop it in the grid. There we are. So now we're, now we're getting somewhere. Um, let's have a look. So on here we could, let's just, let's just, let's go back to the grid example. Uh-huh, okay just for a bit of a refresher to see what we're doing over there. And then let's go back to the new grid. And let's do, let's drop a background image in there. Like we had, that's quite nice. And we can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. And let's duplicate this. And we'll drop that in there. And Let's change this image. Um, what did we have in there? I can't remember. Uh, oh, we had the guy, the laptop guy. We got the laptop guy there. And uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's duplicate this one. And so this grid item, so we're gonna duplicate that. And this one, Let's select the grid and we could have this one be 12 columns. So that's going to stretch right across the bottom. And we're going to get rid of, we're going to get rid of those two things. We're going to, uh, we're going to duplicate this guy, drop him in the section. And let's change that to the elements logo, which is nice. And uh, what we can do, we're going to, We'll pop that in there. That's looking pretty good. I think this one we had it. We actually had a grad on it, so we can do that. I can remove that, and I can go in here, and we can uh, we can we can pick these colors, and I could pick I'm going to pick that purple. So we can do a a, a grad. Oh, let's go purple on that one as well. I think. So yeah, so, and you know, we can play around with these. And there, so that's pretty good. And yeah, so you can see here how I've quickly built up this layout and it's all in, and we've, all, we've done it in the edit mode. And this is such a nice way to work. So, uh, rather than design some more of these, because you've kind of seen how I've how I can design these and you know and make them look different and drop other elements in and things. What might be nice is uh, if we, we we play around and we we can change the layout. So if I select this grid item and we think you know actually I want this to be uh, two columns or two rows, I can bring that up and I think oh okay on this one. I want to bring that in a little bit and then down here on this grid item and if we make this smaller make that eight rows so you can see that's eight rows and that's four rows and again this is uh, this is not using the full height because it's not 
you know you could make your content shorter until that works but you might have a lot of content so you know like that and as before what we do is we select the grid item and we say you know stretch this to fill that space so we just do that so uh, that makes it uh, drag and drop editor and again we'd want that if we switch that to stretch then those are always going to be equal so uh, let's select this grid item again and we could uh, well, let's keep we keep that as four and we could make that go back down to one and you could you could select this one and we can make that go to five and we might want to stretch that down to two oh, and there's our elements one again and we'll make that go to 12. so this is just such you well you can see how quickly i, I can change this layout and let's move that to 12 and i can move this one to four select that grid so you can see this is such a nice way to work and there I've just changed this layout it is just so quick so quick uh, let's increase the padding on this uh, on the height there so there we can make that bigger like that and it's just such a lovely way to work and it's so quick to build things like this let's move that back to eight and what's that grid item and he's going to fill two rows so it's just it's so so nice you can see we've just changed this layout and it's completely different to what we had before and it's so easy just to play with this these grid items and one of the nice things i can do here i've got uh, we had these on um, extra small but i can switch these to auto which is essentially a zero grid well let's change that color there a dark color so there and that's butted it all up so it's a very different design and we could take this grid and we could move it out of the container and now it's uh, and now it's a full page grid and it resizes so you can see here uh, so this is something i didn't talk about when we go down here this is going to a tablet size and you'll notice the layout jumps there and that is because on my grid items you can set up what it should do on a desktop tablet and mobile now these aren't finished yet we'll uh we'll, we'll probably have four different devices for this so we'll have an extra large desktop as well uh, but this gives you an idea of how this is going to work so on tablet here on this grid item on tablet i've got it set to six uh, let's go into that but maybe on tablet i wanted it to stretch right across the top so on tablet that's going to do 12 columns and then when i go to the desktop it's going to go back to i think it was on eight yeah it's going to go back to eight because there it is so you can really quickly customize your layout here so you can see there and let's let's pop that grid back in the container there we are and let's um let's put those back on extra small or small and these are as i said before these are all taken from the theme spacing um, and what we can do is we can create our own classes or i can override these so the gap on the grid items is currently set to sm which we set here and that is 3.25 rem or 52 pixels and what we can do is if I just move this over here for a second and we look at this, uh, I can now these now this is using the SM, which is the small spacing. I can actually change it here and this will change the layout in here. So it's going to change it across there. And you notice how smooth that is. It's just updating in real time. There we go. So you can really fine tune these things. And we could have set a custom class here for this, but you know we're not uh, so yeah so we can leave that or if I remove this it'll put it back to the default which was 3.25 like that so there so that is a well a, a quick look at well it's not been that quick actually to be fair but that is a look at the grid system and how flexible it is in rapid weaver elements and it's a great way to build and I can't wait for you guys to be able to use this and start building all kinds of crazy layouts that just wouldn't be possible in other editors or would be super hard to implement. So that's the grid system. 
Uh, we've got lots more stuff to come and I'll be back next week with another video. But do let us know what you think of this system in the comments or if there are things you wanted to do that I kind of, uh, I didn't cover. I mean, I think that should cover most use cases and you've kind of seen you can fill the section um, and, and you can align content in here as well uh, to be the top. You can see here we've got the top, middle and bottom for the content. Uh, so you can really, you can, you know, uh, if I select that one, yeah, so you can really play around with these. There, you can see that moves up and to the bottom. And this is because this is using, uh, this is using the borders there. So I can switch that to auto. Um, but that, so you can align your content however you want as well. So I, I think that covers everything. If there's things I didn't cover in the grid that you want to be able to do or that you're wondering if it can do, let me know in the comments. So, all right, enough rambling for this week and I will see you in next week's video. Have a great week. Cheers, bye.